Guys, welcome back to Cheatham Street Relics. We're back at it like a crack addict. Got the 1994 Dodge Ram. This is the SLT Laramie. I call it the wide body. Because it's got these uh, running boards with the uh, fender flares that run from the front all the way to the back. To me, this, uh, this body style of Dodge Ram it's always one of my favorites. This was the first year of this body style, by the way, 1994. Um, first year of that body style. So just a brief history on this truck. I am the third owner of this truck. The uh, first owner bought it new in Helms Motor Company in Lexington, Tennessee, 1994. He kept it one year, put 100,000 miles on the truck. I did make contact with him uh, several years ago, and he advised me that he was a salesman, did a lot of traveling, had actually had the truck out to California. He traded it back in at Helms in Lexington, and then the second owner, who I purchased it from, bought it in 1995. Of course, as I said, it had 100,000 miles on it. The second owner was a big Mopar enthusiast. He had his own mechanic shop. Uh, and he specialized in Dodge Mopar vehicles, so he kept it uh, in tip-top shape. Now this truck was a uh, this truck came out factory. It was just the SLT Laramie. It's not a conversion package. It's not a Mark III or or a Choo Choo conversion or anything like that. Everything that's on this truck was added after market. The uh, second owner added uh, pretty much everything on it. Uh, well, I say everything. I'll tell you. He 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 added the uh, the running boards. He added these ultra wheels. Now these wheels are 15 inch wheels. This truck came out uh, stock with uh, 16 inch wheels, steel wheels, I believe. So he added these 15 inch ultra wheels. I've left them on there for years. They're they're uh, nice and wide. They fit the truck good. They come out pretty much even with the uh, fender flares so I like that so I've just left them on there they look good they're old school and they fit the truck good I did put these hand cooked tires on there uh, about a year or so ago still got like brand new tread if you can if you can see them uh, he also or he also added the uh, cow hood uh, about it that he put on there. Now the window tent, I had the windows retinted right after I bought it because the old tent on there had turned sort of like purple, like purple haze looking. Uh, so I added a new window tent. I added the uh, rear window louvers. This does have a sliding rear glass, which I hardly ever open it. So that's a full sliding or full rear window louver that I added. I did add the uh, the hard bed cover on there. Also added the, uh, the sun visor, top of the windshield. That's a Lund sun visor. That's a lighted visor, but I never wanted it lighted, so uh, I just blacked out the, uh, the lights in it. That was actually a purchase I made off of uh, Craigslist. Added the uh, three-piece bug and rock deflector. A little piece there on the front of the fenders and across the hood. Uh, also added the uh, GTS headlight covers and the GTS taillight covers. This looks really good, blacked out, especially at night. I'll turn the lights off. It's kind of getting dark out, so I turn the lights out where you can kind of see the daytime obviously it shows up quite a bit better the blackouts to me really make it look good on that black I have even considered blacking out the grill and the uh, blacking out the grill on the front bumper and the mirrors and then it's got this little trim on the side here I thought about just blacking everything out but uh, 
I don't know, the rear step bumper is also chrome. And I always used to like chrome. I don't have a problem with it. I may keep it. It actually looks decent. It's not not too much chrome on it, just uh, just a little bit. Does have the uh, 5.2 liter Magnum V8 engine. Old truck runs great. Like I said, guys, I've owned it since 2006. Uh, when I bought it, it had right around 200, 201,000 miles, somewhere in that neighborhood. And currently, it's got 240,000. Uh, actually, just flipped over a while back, 240,000 miles. And like I said, guys, she runs great. I wouldn't be afraid to drive it anywhere. I know everybody says that, but uh, that's true. She runs great. No issues mechanically other than uh, what I've specified in previous videos. It does need a new heater core put in and I've been uh, I've been putting that off putting that off because I don't drive it in the winter time the only issue I have is maybe in the fall uh, it starts getting a little cooler at night the windshield will fog up it gets that film on the windshield so like I said guys I am going to get that fixed it's just a, just a matter of getting it done actually All right, guys, just want to give you a little update for some of the newer viewers. Uh, we've also got uh, two Ranger GTs, two Ford Ranger GTs. Got an 88 model and an 89 model on the channel. And then my daily driver is a 2003 uh, Park Avenue, my cream puff. And I've had people ask me why I drive all these older vehicles. And I'm going to do a video and, and kind of tell you guys why I drive older vehicles and uh, that's going to be a, a, a different video. All right guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel and we will catch you on the next video.